Assalamualaikum, I'm Fami. Today, our group will present cooperation between dual class transmission DCT and continuously variable transmission DCT. Okay, at first, dual class transmission, we choose GTR R35. Okay, at first, GTR is a high performance sport car produced by Nissan and built in 2007. It is the successor of the GTR Skyline R34. Commonly, only high performance car using the dual class transmission, same as R35. Okay, how dual class transmission work? A dual class transmission work by using two class instead of one. And both are controlled by computer. So they don't need a clutch pedal. Okay, the dual class transmission operate via several inbuilt computers. These computers eliminate the need for the driver to manually change gear and the entire process in automated. This is a uh, respect. Uh, the city can look upon as being similar to an automatic transmission. From the paragraph, we can see the two different color of clutch. Okay, the first one is color blue, clutch for odd gear, which is the handle, the first gear, third and fifth. And second one, clutch for even gear, handle the second gear, fourth and sixth. Okay, okay for gearbox trust. Specification in GTR R35 uh, This gearbox name GTR C yeah. Manufactured by Borg Warner from USA Okay, this gearbox 6 speed dual transmission And using dry sum lubrication system Okay The Nissan GTR 6 speed dual transmission Shifts incredibly quickly And the GTR secondly dual transmission Can snap off like quick gear change in just 0 0.15 second when in R mode. Okay, the pros dual class transmission is the first one is fuel efficiency, increased speed, eliminate shift shock, more driving option and it can handle at high top. Okay, the cons is the first one if you not used to driving the city, it can jerk or lunch when driven at the low, lower speed okay. the second one this dual class the specification of the gearbox is complexity is an overheating issue then the cost of the car will be higher and the maintenance and service will cost more of the money okay thank you my name is Muhammad Ikma Adin today I would like to talk about my V Okay, so my V using a CVT uh, transmission and they have a two type of uh, my V. Uh, first, uh, for the third generation using CVT and the other one is using the CVT. So this is uh, how on the lower gear and how the high gear that uh, CVT will work. Okay, so first of all, the CVT is a transmission that transmission system that used to pulley where both of CVT are connected by belt uh, one pulley is connected to the engine and the other is connected to the drive shaft the transmission of power through the pulley when one get bigger and the uh, one get bigger and the other one will shrink depending on the power stand so the other uh, can adjust accordingly uh, so that the drive belt maintain the same tension and this is what determine how the car accelerate so if we overdrive uh, the belt will uh, outcome the uh, driver pulley okay so this is how uh, CVT work if uh, this one getting bigger this one will shrink and if this one shrink this one will getting bigger Okay, so for the gearbox, the gearbox uh, that may be used is the exact gearbox, uh, single speed unit with infinite gear ratio. Uh, that CVT don't have uh, any gear because the connecting back by the pulley. Uh, gearbox has relatively simple arrangement of two cone shaped pulley with a V shaped driver belt is connecting them. Okay, so the pros and the cons for the CVT. 
smooth right because it eliminate a uh, feeling of shifting fuel efficiency because a uh, engine is always running efficiently uh, faster respond to a change in driving condition okay so for the cons it's cons consider unusable in off-road uh, no engine braking capability as seen in the manual transmission expensive maintenance uh, okay so let's see uh, first the pros uh, so that's right because it's eliminate uh, feeling of shifting because uh, CVT don't have any gear and they are only depend on the belt that swing and getting bigger if you want to power up or lowering gear so fuel efficiency uh, this also because of uh, the CVT uh, always have a uh, uh, accurate of the fuel consumption that they need hmm. if they getting bigger so the will go faster lah. first response to a change in driving condition so if you drive uh, they are only direct uh, to the CVT and they are just uh, pulling around then don't have any responding time okay so consider unusable in off-road of condition because uh, CVT don't have any talk uh, they are, if they are ref and want to go on the high RPM, they will overuse the belt. So, no engine braking uh, inside of the going down uh, to the lowest gear, the, CV, uh, the CVT don't have any of a uh, time delay uh, when we change over the gear expensive maintenance so uh, the oil for the CVT is uh, quite expensive uh, if you want to take care over the CVT transmission okay so the feature that I have on uh, my EV so uh, first of all uh, my EV have a power mode drive uh, for the second one and not for the first one uh, next is multimedia system with smart link and HDMI that's for uh, my V advanced don't have an, add any other uh, my V that is lower than advanced pack uh, uh, and the third one is auto lock and unlock so uh, if we start the car and we already going to the, our trip that uh, the car will uh, automatic lock uh, our uh, our, our dog so uh, this might be also built in a uh, toll reader so we can put our touch and go card and uh, we don't need uh, we don't need to have a smart tag uh, so uh, this might be also have a built in with uh, DVR so DVR is for the camera that for our safety if uh, be uh, if we in uh, accident that uh, we know that so the one uh, will have a problem okay uh, they also have uh, many features for the sensor there is a sensor for the blind spot sensor for the parking and sensor for the front so uh, the sensor for the blind spot is uh, if have a motorcycle that uh, we cannot see the detection we give uh, warn to us if uh, there's any object on the on the blank spot uh, if uh, this is also uh, can accomplish the lane assist uh, for the cruise that's uh, we can set up uh, the speed that we want and we also using a cruise for a long ride <coughs> the sensor for in front is also to detect uh, in front of the car that if we are on the cruise that they also can control how the distance that uh, our car and the car in front of in front of us okay so the reverse car uh, this reverse car as we know that uh, for parking if we're going out to the outside of the parking if uh, there's any object that uh, the sensor will notice us Okay, uh, they also have a reverse parking uh, camera that uh, we can use for us to make uh, to make us easy to parking when the when we want to backward parking. Okay, 
So that's all for me. Uh, thank you.